South Korea's government says it may provide loans to Hanjin Shipping to keep the bankrupt freight giant afloat. The biggest collapse in shipping history has left millions of goods that should be on shelves for a busy shopping season trapped in shipping containers. And as CCTV's Jack Barton reports, it's unclear if the money will be enough to get things moving. The equivalent of 270,000 standard size shipping containers of Hanjin cargo is now either stranded at sea facing seizure at port or already in the hands of creditors. It all adds up to a supply chain crisis. If one component is trapped in a Hanjin ship, it means they can't supply that component. If you can't supply the component to the factory, then they can't make the product. And if they can't make the product, it can't circulate for the consumer. Even in countries that don't mark Christmas, the end of year shopping season just got a bit less merry. It's close to the end of the year. Particularly after September, there is an increase in consumption in America, China, and this country. The entire industry has been adrift since the 2008 economic crisis led to slowing global demand. Hanjin is just the biggest shipping victim to date. Executives in the building behind me are no doubt holding many meetings on the limited options they now have, one of them being a potential merger with Korean shipping giant Hyundai Marine. In the meantime, the government has offered Hanjin more than $90 million in loans if the company provides collateral. The lifeline is too small to keep Hanjin above water, but it could pay for the unloading of cargo. This is really, you know, sending very strong signal to other Korean companies. You should not, you should not enjoy your moral hazard any longer. You have to change your time management, you have to top, and you have to earn your own profit. While big Korean conglomerates learn a lesson, retailers rush to find alternatives. A lot of retailers in the U.S. are scrambling to find how to ship the product from China and Korea to the U.S. market. Which all takes time. If there is one ray of hope, it is that Hanjin's demise or restructure will make the industry as a whole a little more buoyant. Jack Barton, CCTV, Seoul.